Okay, Jera was given a fixed amount of pocket money each month. In January, he spent $50 and saved the rest. In February, he spent 10% less and his savings increased by 25%. So how much was Jera's pocket money for each month? So we let his pocket money for each month be X. And now we look at his saving and spending in January and as well as in February. Okay, so in January, okay, his spending was $50. So his saving is equal to X minus 50. Okay, so now we look at in February. In February, his spending is 10% lesser than in January. So that will be 90% of what he spent in January. So 90% times $50, okay, we have $45. And his saving in this case, it will be X minus 45. Okay, and it is said here that his saving is also um, has also increased by 25% compared to in January. So that means um, in February, his saving is 125% of uh, January's saving. Okay, so we can form another um, expression that will be his saving in February is also equal to 125 over 100 times x minus 50 okay that is 125 percent of january's saving okay so since these two are the saving in february they should be equal we can equate them together okay but first of all let me simplify this this one if we simplify it we will get 5 x minus 50 over 4 and we will get 5x minus 50 sorry 5x minus 250 divided by 4 okay now we equate these two together we have x minus 45 is equal to 5x minus 250 over 4. Do a cross multiply. We end up with 4x minus 180 is equal to 5x minus 250. So we have x is equal to 250 minus 180. That will give us 70. Okay. So his pocket money per month is $70. Okay, um, there are three types of cookies in a box. So the ratio of the total number of walnut cookies to chocolate cookies is 4 is to 5. So I represented using the model here, 4 units of walnut and 5 units of the chocolate. And the ratio of the number of raisin cookies to the total number of walnut and chocolate cookies is 5 is to 6 so 5 for 5 units for raisin 6 units for uh, walnut plus chocolate so what fraction of the cookies in the box are chocolate cookies okay so we can see from here right okay the walnut and chocolate cookies made up 6 over 11 of the total cookies and the chocolate cookies made up 5 out of 9 of the combination of walnut and chocolate. So it will be 5 
over 9 multiplied by 6 over 11 okay so in this case this will be 3 this will be 2 we will get 10 over 33 okay that's the answer Okay, at a fruit store, the price of a pear is 3 fifth the price of an orange. So the pear is 3 units and the orange is 5 units. And the price of an apple is half the price of a pear. Okay, so, so the apple is about 1.5 unit of the pear. So in this case, right, we can just divide the units such that they have the same uh, small unit. So we can further divide the pair into into six units. The each unit right we divide into two. So now we can split up the apple. So the apple will have three smaller units. And the uh, orange, we split up. Orange will have ten smaller units. Okay. So now if you want the ratio of the price of orange to the price of pear and to that of the apple it should be 10 units 6 units and 3 units so it will become 10 is 2 6 is 2 3 okay that's the answer okay the square a b c d is made up of four smaller squares and what is the ratio of the area of the shaded part to the area of the unshaded part Okay, so we have to look at the uh, unshaded part. Unshaded part consists of one small square and after that it consists of one right angle triangle followed by another right angle triangle. So if, can we see that if you were to shift this right angle triangle here, actually they form a nice rectangle like this, which is consists of two smaller squares so this and this together they form two smaller squares okay so if you can see this right the area of unshaded part is actually equivalent to three smaller square and the area of shaded part it has to be 4 square minus 3 unshaded square so we are left with only one small square so the ratio of the shaded part to the area of the unshaded part it will be 1 is to 3 Okay, Mr. Wong had a number of books for sale He sold a total of 342 books on Saturday and Sunday So let this represent 324 And on Monday, he sold one quarter of the remainder So for the remainder, we divide into 4 units And he sold uh, this part on Monday and he was left with 18% of the books that he had at first so how many books did he have at first? so the remaining 3 units is actually equivalent to 18% of the total books that he had at first okay so now we can say that 3 units is equal to 18% so 4 units is 24% so how we get 24% right is just 4 divided by 3 times 18 okay so if this 4 units is 24% 342 books 324 books will be equivalent to 100% minus 24% that will be 76% percent okay so 100 percent of the books it will be okay 100 divided by 76 times 324 
that will give us 450 books at first. Okay, so the answer 450. Okay, Mrs. Wong bought a rice cooker for $126 after a discount of 30%. So what was the price of the rice cooker before discount? Okay, so uh, first of all, we need to establish that if there's a discount of 30%, that means the amount that she paid is 70% of the cost price. Okay, so part A, 100% minus 30 is equal to 70%. So this 70% is equivalent to the 126 that she paid. So to find the cost price, it will be 100% over 70 times 126 that will give us 180 dollars okay so price of rice cooker before discount is 180 dollars okay next she paid 40 dollars for a toaster and the total discount for the rice cooker and the toaster was $64. What was the percentage discount given for the toaster? Okay, so we want to find out what is the discount for the rice cooker. Okay, that will be 180 minus the discounted price, 126. So we know that it is $54. Okay, so now we can find out what is the discount for the toaster. That will be 64 minus 54. We have $10. Okay, so the percentage discount, it will be the discount. $10 divided by the cost price of the toaster, 40 times 100%. So with that, we will get 25%. Okay, so the answer should be $180 for part A and 25% for part B. Okay, Mrs. Shen bought a bag and a pair of shoes at a discount. She spent a total of $57.60 on these two items and she spent $9.60 more on the shoes than on the bag. So part A, how much did she spend on the shoes? Okay, we represent all the data using this model here. Okay, so we can find out what is this two unit. So two units is equal to 57.60 minus nine dollars and sixty cents so we will get forty eight dollars and one unit is forty eight divided by two that will give us twenty four dollars so we can find the cost of cost of the shoes okay that will be twenty four plus nine sixty and we will get $3.60 Okay, next Okay, uh, part B, the total discount given for the two items was $22.40 She was given a 25% discount for the bag So, what was the percentage discount given for the shoe? So first of all, we want to find out what is the, what is the discount amount for the bag Okay, um 25% discount means that uh, if we were to take 100% minus 25%, we get 75%. So, we can say that the bag was bought at 75% of the cost price. Okay, then 75% of the cost price is $24 so 
percent right which is the discount it will be 25 divided by 75 times 24 so the discounted amount is eight dollars for the bags okay so now what is the discount for the shoe it will be 22.40 minus $8 so we will get $14.40 okay so now the cost price of the shoe it is $14.40 plus $3.60 that will be $48 Okay, so what is the percentage discount? It is the discount which is 14.40 divided by the cost price 48 times 100%. So we will get 30%. So the answer for part A is $33.60. And for part B, it is 30%.